Welcome back to the channel collectors. So we have received some unconfirmed 2020 battle forces and we would just like to see how much savings we will be getting from these potential battle forces. Do take note that these battle forces are still rumours and they are not confirmed. However, it's good to just see which ones are worth the most money. So if you're ready, let us begin. So, first and foremost, we'll be looking at the Gloom Spike Gates Battle Forces. So, what you'll be getting in the Gloom Spike Gates Battle Force is 2 units of Rock Guard Trogoths, 1 Dank Hoof Trogoth, 1.5 units, that's pretty strange, of uh, Squig Hoppers, and 1 Loon Boss on a Cave Squig. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of my favourite Battle Forces this year because it has a lot of customizability in all the units. I personally have painted and built many Rock Guard Trugoffs and they can all be individualized in this entire six because uh, there are many parts to mix and match and that Dankov Trugoff can also be built as a Shock Boss also. The Squigs can also be customized in a, in a very very individualized way and one of my favorite models is Loom Boss on Cave Squig, which really, really is a very nicely sculpted and dynamic model, as you can see right here. So enough about talking about models. Let's look at prices. So in this entire Battle Force box, based on the USD prices, you're getting two hundred and ninety-five dollars worth of more. In my opinion, I'll be benchmarking the savings with their latest Battle Force box-ish thing which is Shadow and Pain, currently at 170 USD. So based on what we are getting right here, we are approximately getting $125 worth of savings, which sort of equates to about a 73% savings from the retail price. In my opinion, although this is not the biggest savings, I would say that this would be the Battle Force box to get for 2020 at least until they release more Battle Force boxes. So moving on to the Ogor More Tribes, we have this Battle Force of Ogor More Tribes consisting of one Ogor Tyrant, one Man Crusher Gargan, two sets of Ogor Gluttons, two sets of Lead Pouches, one Iron Blaster, and which brings the total to 308. The Ogor More Tribes have seen a relaunch this year along with the Ossiak Bone Reapers and this half set kind of looks reminiscent to 2 player battle box which was available earlier this year. Based on the models that you're getting, a lot of the models in my opinion are kind of old. A lot of the models that you're getting are from the older range and don't seem as appealing to me. However, you are getting a new model, which is the Ogor Tyrant, and well, the reboxed Ilgazler Gargan is also back here. So, in my opinion, the savings, of course, it's the bigger savings if you ask me. Uh, you're getting a total of $138 savings versus the Shadow and Pain box, which uh, I'm benchmarking this upon. And the price, the total value of this is uh, $308 US dollars. And in my opinion, while this is the biggest savings that you get from all the sort of unconfirmed battle forces, this in my opinion is one of the weaker battle forces and it's a, in my opinion, it's a no-go for me. However, if you are a big fan of Ogomo tribes, this is a huge uh, savings for you and if you really want to get this, uh, go for it, man. So moving on, we'll be going on to the 40k stuff, which I might not be too familiar with, but we'll just talk about the Tau Empire. So the Tau Empire, this is one massive Battle Force box. Uh, yeah, it's also on par with the Ogre More Tribes in terms of savings. However, you can see many of the models are, are not... You, you are getting now the new models, you're actually getting some of the stuff that has already been in production for many years. 
So I'm going to just go through the contents of the box and you can have a look. So we're going to have a broadside battle suit, which is one of the bigger models you will see here. And then you are going to get one commander and one piranha. And you will have a three crisis battle suit to supplement this force. And of course, for the infantry, you're getting one set of fire warriors and one set of pathfinders. This is uh, on par with Ogon More Tribes in terms of the amount saved because the total value is 309, which is approximately the same as the Ogon More Tribes, 308, and the savings is $139. So, yeah, this is a pretty good value for money box if you are looking to go into Tau, and in my opinion, the models look pretty nice. However, yeah, we're not getting any of that sweet new scalps as we've seen in the gloom spike gates so in my opinion maybe if you are really into tau this would be something good for you all right so now we have we are going on to the last battle force box which we have been leaked about and this is the extra militarium so for the extra militarium what you'll be getting just uh, based on this picture you're getting heavy weapon squad a scout sentinel, a chimera tank, and yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, infantry. You got two sets of Cadian shock troops and one Cadian command squad. Okay, so in my opinion, this this is a just this, uh, although I'm not very well versed in the 40k universe, this looks very familiar. I've seen many iterations of this box, and yeah, uh, it's not the best savings. You're only getting a fifty dollar saving from the entire from the entire set which is uh, at retail price 220 US dollars so that's about a uh, sort of 29 dollar uh, 29 percent savings and in my opinion yeah this is the least savings however I know many die hard uh, extra militarium players and painters out there would really appreciate this set and yeah this would be definitely a good set if you are into that so all in all if you ask me for this time round ranking what information we have so far i would say that of course my favorite set my go-to set for this time round would be the gloom spike gates so for the gloom, gloom spike gates uh, just to refresh your mind we are getting two sets of rock guard trogoffs one dankhof trogoff uh, and yeah 1.5 sets of squid riders and of course the loon boss on the cave squid all the scops are entirely new uh, we have seen sort of this battle force appear last year ish also so yeah i would say that this would be definitely the one to get last year if i recall correctly we got the mangler squid instead of the Dankhof Trogoff and we didn't get the Cave Rider Squid, we got the just, just generic Loon Boss kind of hero in this box and in my opinion this definitely improves on the Battle Force last year. So now it's time for a bit of speculation. Uh, usually there are about 10 Battle Forces, 6 40k Battle Forces and 4 each of Sigma Battle Forces. We've seen 4 so far so I would say that there are another two battle forces coming up for Age of Sigma and another four battle forces coming up for 40k. I would say that for Age of Sigma, what I would really really be looking forward to is possibly there might be a battle force for the Ossiak Bone Reapers and the Luminef Realm Lords because this is not entirely out of the realm of possibility because the last time round Last year's new army was the Gloom Spike Gits and they got their battle forces in 2019 within the same year that they are launched. So if you ask me and if you are really thinking about getting into the Ossiak Bone Reapers or the Luminef Realm Lords, I would say that hold on to your cards cause there might be a battle force coming up in their direction. However, I can't confirm this because this is just purely my speculation. In a Ossiak Bone Reaper battle force, you would not expect to see Catacross in himself. And similarly for the Luminaf Ramlords, you wouldn't be able to see Teclas himself because 
We've never seen any of those big models really show up in these battle forces. These battle forces don't usually include these key models. So if you are looking to buy those models, yeah, those would definitely not show up in the battle forces. So for the 40k side, my speculation is, of course, Spotlight will be shown onto the poster boys of the 40k universe. There will definitely be a Space Marine Battle Force coming up. And yeah, let's see what's coming up. Probably some kind of reboxing of the Indomitor set. And if you ask me, because following the trends of the Age of Sigma, I would say that there might be a Necron Battle Force coming up too. Doomstalkers with a lot, a lot, a lot of warriors and some destroyers. Not entirely out of the realm of uh, possibility. We can only hope for all new Necron collectors and painters. This is something for you to continue hoping and I would say that maybe they will start showing some love to armies that have not been uh, in battle forces in a while so I would say maybe Tyranids where there might be a new Tyranid army or a new Tyranid launch soon we don't know and that's so much so for my speculations for this battle force video what do you think which are the battle forces which you think would be good let me know in the comments below and yeah i hope to see you when more battle forces are launched and let's paint more models i'll see you then